As Jamaica braces for the approach of Hurricane Melissa, the memories of Hurricane Gilbert, the legendary storm of 1988, are once again stirring across the island. But early forecasts suggest that Melissa could grow into something even more powerful and destructive, raising fears that Jamaica may soon face the worst storm in its recorded history. When Gilbert roared across the island on September 12, 1988, it struck Jamaica as a high-end Category 3 hurricane, packing sustained winds near 125 miles per hour. The storm's eye crossed the entire island, devastating homes, flattening crops and cutting power and communication for weeks. In some areas, rainfall exceeded 32 inches, triggering flash floods and deadly landslides. Coastal surges climbed as high as 19 feet, and by the time the winds died down, at least 45 lives were lost and tens of thousands of Jamaicans were left homeless. Gilbert became a defining event in the island's modern history, a benchmark for what a major hurricane can do to Jamaica its landscape and spirit. Now 37 years later, meteorologists are warning that Hurricane Melissa could eclipse even Gilbert's fury. As of this weekend, Melissa has been upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds around 75 miles per hour. But the storm is moving over exceptionally warm Caribbean waters, fuel that could rapidly strengthen it into a Category 4 or even Category 5 system before it nears Jamaica. The National Hurricane Center and several forecast models agree. Conditions are ripe for explosive intensification. What makes Melissa especially dangerous is not only its projected strength but its slow forward speed. Traveling at just 1 to 3 miles per hour, the storm could linger over Jamaica for hours, even days, dumping more than 30 to 50 inches of rain in some areas. That's nearly double the rainfall Gilbert produced in 1988. Such prolonged rainfall combined with hurricane force winds and mountainous terrain could trigger catastrophic flooding and widespread landslides. Coastal communities, particularly along the southern shores, are also facing a grave threat. Current forecasts predict storm surges up to 13 feet, high enough to inundate low-lying towns, destroy infrastructure, and cut off key transportation routes. If Melissa reaches Category 5 status, with winds potentially exceeding 155 miles per hour, its eyewall would unleash wind damage far greater than that experienced during Gilbert. While Jamaica's disaster preparedness and early warning systems have improved significantly since 1988, the potential scale of Melissa's impact is alarming. Meteorologists and government officials have already described the storm as a record-breaking threat, warning that it could become Jamaica's deadliest storm ever if the current forecast holds. Comparing the two storms highlights just how much more dangerous Melissa could be. Gilbert arrived swiftly and crossed the island in a matter of hours. Melissa, by contrast, may stall, saturating the soil, washing away roads and overwhelming rivers and dams. In short, Gilbert was fast and fierce, but Melissa could be slow, massive and merciless. If Melissa does reach its projected peak, it will not only rival Gilbert in power, but surpass it in destructive potential. This looming hurricane represents the kind of worst-case scenario meteorologists have long feared for Jamaica. A slow-moving, rain-laden Category 5 storm striking a densely populated island. As Jamaicans prepare and pray, one thing is clear. The coming days may write a new and painful chapter in the nation's hurricane history, one that could redefine how future generations remember the storms that tested Jamaica's strength.